Right then, hello and welcome back to Toka Touring Card Championship, getting ready for round six of the Showdown campaign. And uh, as always, we're not going to worry about qualifying, we're just going to jump straight in, starting in 16th place. Well, the new Renault driver just couldn't compete today and ends up way back on the grid. Yeah, 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 as always. So, uh, Jason Plato, my good old teammate, is starting on pole with both the Audis behind. And I'm starting at the back with Patrick Watts in the Peugeot. So, yeah, we're going to see how many cars we can get to retire Here this time. Yep, so uh, another day of uh, touring car snooker or touring car bowling. Whichever you prefer. And away we go for another 20 lap marathon. So I'm going to hang back a little bit because I do want to have a, a, a better chance of retiring some cars today at least. So we only had the one retirement yesterday, which is, of course, David Leslie. I'm going to go back on the bonnet view because it is easier to pinpoint where you are from the car in front of you. So uh, first off, we're going to, mm, I was going to say mess about with the Ford Mondeos, but they're going very slow. This is painfully slow. I mean, look at this. They, they got their brakes on. Why? It's a flat out corner. You can go literally flat out around the entire course. Okay, Cleland, I'm going to worry about you in a minute. Okay, this is not going to work, is it? No, that's not going to work. Oh, the, the thing is, they were going too slow. I had to keep putting on the brakes, and that was messing me up a little bit, so. Oh, well, not to worry. We'll try again. Plenty of laps to go. We've still got 19 to go. Oh, come on. That wasn't a warning. I tapped the bloody Peugeot. Okay, so I guess these two are next to try and get into the chevrons. Whether that's going to be possible or not, I don't know. I still don't know if it is possible to draft. I think it might be just very slight. No, 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 come on. Ah, son of a bitch. No, that's not going to work, is it? No. God damn it, every single time something goes wrong, I can't get a good aim for the cars in front. Right, there's Derek Warwick. He's always at the back, usually, so I'm going to help him along. Yeah, you get off into the barrier. I don't care. Right, our time is running out. We are only in ninth place. Plato is probably, you know, three quarters of a lap ahead. So we've got a lot of work to do to catch up. Come back. Whoever that is in front. I think that's one of the Hondas, or it could be the Volvo. Hard to tell from back here. It is... Yeah, I think that is one of the Hondas. No, I was completely wrong. It was the Nissan. And that's what I mean. When the cars are at a certain distance, they all look the same. 
you know that could have been any of you know the the volvo the the nissan the, the audi Okay, so we're going to try and get one of the Audis out instead then. Of course, if he behaves and stays in his line and I don't jink the controller around, then we should be fine to uh, get our first retirement in this race. And that should work. Did that work? No, it bloody didn't. God damn it. Oh, that was perfect. But they got to be at the right angle, otherwise they will just bounce off the uh, barriers and not roll. So, that's fine. We can try again. Once we catch up to the, uh, to the rest of the pack up ahead. There's only five cars in front. We're already catching them, so... Ah, there's the other Audi, so we'll try with him. Hopefully this goes well. It's surprising how much in the way of concentration this takes just from messing around. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, oh, you absolute git. Uh, some tracks it's easier to do it on, you know, others is a little bit finicky. I think the best one to do it on is definitely Donington National because you can go down the, the back straight and just before Goddard's you just slam straight into the back of the, uh, the drivers going just before the chicane they usually go into the pit wall. Not always but it is a lot more consistent than this. Is not gonna work. Yes, it is. Nice. Okay, so Rickard Rydell is the first to retire. Now that was lucky because there's a, there is a wall that juts out just before you get to the Chevron barriers, and sometimes they do hit that, and they hit it square onto the side, so that can actually flip them over. So good. That is my uh, my first retirement. Oh, one down, fourteen to go. We're only 8 seconds, even after all that messing about, we're only 8 seconds behind the Hondas, so that's not going to take long to catch up at all, at least, you know, a lap or two, if that. Just need to put in some damn good laps this time without messing up the chicane at the end. 
We're doing that. No, no. A oh, for goodness sake. Again, with the input of the steering in there, it takes an age to accelerate out of the bloody spin. Oh, here comes the Audi. Oh, he went into the uh, the Marshall post. Oh. Okay, that was very lucky. Uh, we probably lost a lot of time. Yeah, 16 seconds back from the Honda, but that's fine. That'll take us a couple of laps to catch up. But Once the AI catch up to the back markers, that'll slow them down anyway. really got good lap times on this one either and 116 so we're like seven seconds slower than we were yesterday but then yesterday we weren't arsing around so much so that'll explain why There we go. We were 16 seconds back from the Honda, and now we're down to 7 seconds again. Now we should get a new fastest lap as well. Yep, one thirteen thirteen. Nice. Ah, that's why they're being caught up on the back markers, as I predicted. Ford, please get out of my way. Exit stage right, thank you. It says the Honda is only two seconds up the road, but I can't bloody see him. is with the other Honda and possibly my teammate as well is around here somewhere oh bugger off and uh, nope Plato is 11 seconds up the road but as you see how quick it was to catch up to Hondas I don't think we're gonna have a problem catching up Plato somehow Drop to eight seconds. name flash up on the screen no is the answer to that bloody hell that was pretty much perfect kept the speed pushed him into the barrier oh, but as you can see it doesn't always work oh, what am I doing automobilista 2 grass physics there you go How far ahead is Plato? Still 10 seconds. We did make up a bit of time, but just lost it again.
Now, see all the marshal posts around the track. They would be ideal opportunities to push cars off. The thing is, though, it is very random whether you can get them in the perfect spot or not. Like here, go flat out into that thing. That would hurt. Okay, five seconds up the road. That's absolutely fine. So we should see him coming out of the chicane. Oh, bloody hell, will you stop doing that, you stupid game? Oh, that's one of the Peugeots at least. We might be able to catch him. No, actually, he's too far ahead. Is that a Peugeot? Or is that one of the Fords? See, again, it looks like a Peugeot, but then it looks like a Ford. I don't know which, which it is. No, it's definitely the Peugeot. Okay. And there's good old Plato. Stuck behind one of the Fords. Come on, Plato, will you get a move on? Instead of being scared of the throttle pedal, just put your foot down, lad. Time for my teammate to go for a spin. Did it work? No, it didn't. Bloody hell. Useless. Even my teammate can't be bothered to roll. Oh well, back in the car we go. And immediately the car spins for no reason. Out of bounds, go and put me back on the track then. Ugh. Here comes Plato. Oh, thank you. Where'd you go? Go on then, get ahead. We will try again. This time, do your job and don't disappoint me and crash your car into the bloody chevron barriers for once. Oh, for goodness sake. Now that was just bloody cheating. I will not fail this time. We will try again.
And the Hondas are back as well. Oh, he's, he's actually pushing me. That's nice. Thank you. Oh, we've got one of the Fords coming up as well. Come on, come on, roll. Yeah, there we go. All right, bugger off. All right, Plato's out of the race. I know he's my teammate, but... I need to fill the quota for the cars that need to retire, so... Unfortunately, he was just on the chopping block. I couldn't really do anything else about it. Right, Hondas at least should be easy to retire because they always are. And it's very weird that this little quirk of the game, um, I would say it was a bug. That if you tap one of the AI cars before a corner, they just stop braking. Um, it only works in the Platinum version, the later versions of the game. In the regular version, uh, it doesn't happen. You know, the cars actually do stick to the track, so they don't lose all control. So if you want to play around with the AI cars like this, then you have to do it in the later Platinum version, and so on. That was my second warning. Oops. One more warning and I get uh, points deducted. Gotta be careful. Okay, four laps to go. Okay, so next up then is the Voxel of Cleland. A legend as he is, he is up next on the chopping block to be retired. I got four points deducted because I went into him as he went into the barrier. But that's okay, John Cleland is out of the race. Oops, so there you go, that's what it looks like when you do get too many warnings. You get points deducted, so I've had four points removed. It doesn't really make no odds to the championship, to be honest. Uh, I think next is where you get eight points removed or six points removed. Then eight points removed, then you get a final warning, and then you get disqualified, so... You are pretty lenient when it comes to the warning system. So that means we're down to a mere 13 cars on the grid. Might even be 12. If I can catch up to the Volvo, it might be 12. No, I think he's a little bit too far ahead. I don't really want to rush up either and whack him in the rear and get more points deducted, so. I'm just going to play it cool for now. No, it wasn't the Volvo, see, it was the other Voxel. Oh, 
amazing when you can't even distinguish cars between cars when they're at certain distance. Oh well, two laps to go. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to catch up to any more cars and... Play some more touring car bowling, sadly. But, hey, that's fine. You know, at least we uh, tripled our quota from yesterday, so we got three retirements. And we're on course to break our lap record as well for race two. time of a 1.12.02. Not bad. Still no, nowhere near fast enough compared to yesterday. Oh, and uh, Harvey or Watts has gone off into the unknown. Back in the car we go. Another track that is pretty good for retirements is Croft, surprisingly, because of the tight nature. If you uh, head to one of the tighter corners, give the AI a little bit of a push, there's like a, a grass embankment where the barrier is, so they usually go down there into the barrier and it rolls the car really easily. Um, We'll get to that, though, when we get to the half point in the season. But even with the four points deducted from our championship total, we still get another victory. And, uh, yeah, three cars are out. Hooray! And another victory for the new Renault driver. His team must be very happy with his progress so far. <laughs> so let's have a closer look at the final positions. That makes me laugh. Oh yeah, his team must be very happy and it says in text at the bottom, four points deducted for dangerous driving. Yeah, I, my team would be happy if I had that for every round. But there you go then, Rickard Rydell, Plato and John Cleland, the retirements. After a great day and there we go. Here, let's have a look at the current championship standings. The new Renault driver is in the lead at this stage. Can he keep it up, I wonder? Yeah, I should be able to. So, uh, 86 points then. Um, it should have been 90, but with the four points deducted. I uh, can't really do much about that, but oh well. Do I want to save the game? Yeah, go on then. Why not? Um, so, that was rounds five and six done, and we'll be back next time then for rounds seven and eight. So, I'll leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.